here at Air Venture and we've come to look at a propeller that I've known for a long time in the European market four years here at Air Venture but we're gonna see more from Duke Elise and I'm speaking today with Michael de Darion exactly. is that pretty close yes, exactly. not too bad for an American huh? okay I'm Dan Johnson it's my pleasure to interview Michael here and we want to talk about a series of props so we're gonna go from propeller <laughs> to propeller and you tell us a little bit about each one. What are we looking at here, Michael? This propeller is a flash propeller. It's a full carbon props in carbon fiber. And the blade is in carbon. The hub also is in carbon. And All carbon except for the bolts. Huh? Exactly, yeah, okay. exactly. And also the leading edge. You can see that we have a metallic protection. Ah, the yeah. leading edge, it's an inconel. And then it's really strong. So it's built course. right into it. Exactly, it's yeah. directly molded with the blade. Okay. And the idea is that we design the, the shape of the blade to have a specific performance. We have a constant speed effect on this propeller. It's a ground adjustable propeller. We can set the pitch on ground, but after... It's fixed we, pitch once it's exactly. in the air, but you can adjust it for altitudes exactly. or, or elevations, I should exactly, say. Exactly, yeah. Okay, yeah. so all carbon fiber, carbon hub, metal props, metal bolts, uh, how do you uh, go on from there, please, Michael? Yeah. And then this uh, this, uh, this propeller going on uh, LSA aircraft. Okay, so for, this is for light sport then. Light okay. sport aircraft, exactly. And, and that for, means uh, the Rotax engine and other pro other exactly, engines yeah. like that. Rotax engine, uh, light coming O200, uh, O2, the Continental 200, O200, and the O235 like this kind of engine. Okay, all of those will work. Can use this prop. In exactly. the LSA sector, where in the United States anyway, exactly. adjustable pitch yes. is not about allowed. Yes, but adjustable course. pitch is allowed in some other countries. So we'll exactly. go look at that in a minute. Or in experimental uh, application. Of course, in this country as well for that. Yes. Okay. So this is one prop you have. How long has the company been in business? How many props do you have operating so yes. far? Indeed, uh, the company has more than 15 years. We manufacture uh, almost uh, 1,500 propellers per okay. year. Then uh, since the time we almost have 10,000 propellers wow. on flight every day, and uh, yes, we have uh, four four, uh, four family of propellers. We have the flash propellers, this one. We have the swirl propeller, other one. We have also the windspoon propeller for uh, slow aircraft, just strikes. And after we also develop a specific pie plate props called the flare. It's for uh, gliding, uh, for towing. Uh, ah, okay, gliding. to give a really a lot exactly. of thrust exactly. where speed is not so important. Yes. Exactly. But yeah. climbing is important. Exactly. Let's go have a look at a prop yes. for a pusher. This is for a tractor, tractor engine. Tractor. Let's exactly. look at one for a pusher. pusher. Okay, so we've moved over to another one of your whole family of props you have arrayed out here. This one is for a pusher prop, is that correct? Yes, exactly. Uh, for example, what kind of aircraft might it's be? It's specifically designed for gyro uh, gyro aircraft, yes. And also trikes, okay. because uh, this kind of aircraft need a lot of thrust uh, for takeoff and also uh, for climb. But after, thanks to the design of the, the blade, we have also great performance in cruise. And that's uh, the main important thing, to have the best combination of all the performance uh, for this kind of uh, gyro and tracks. Yeah. Well, that's kind of the holy grail of a prop development to have both climb and cruise. Exactly, so. yeah. And that's why we, we, we still have the constant speed effect on this shape, but in pusher application. And uh, the way is that when you have a slow speed, just a part of the blade is working, and then it's working like a small pitch. But when you have a uh, speed, all the prop is working, and I then see. it's working like a Does big pitch. Does that mean pitch. more twist in the prop then? No, no, no. People think that, but... Uh, it's not the no, case, okay. That. We try to manufacture a really strong blade, and after it just comes from the, the design, the aerodynamic design of the blade. It's just aerodynamic effect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, Michael, in today's market, uh, some companies, uh, Cub Crafters, uh, the, uh, the Savage Cub, and some others are beginning to use higher horsepower engines, like 180 horsepower. Do we have a prop here that can accommodate that? Yes, exactly. The company at the beginning worked uh, in ultralight aircraft, but now more and more we grow and have a bigger propeller for higher power. 
and this is the Flash Air propeller. It's a reinforced uh, version of the Flash propeller. It's uh, totally adapted for uh, 180 horsepower until uh, 210 horsepower. Oh wow! Okay. And it's really efficient to provide to big aviation the innovation that we developed in our ultralight, you know, because uh, all the technology in carbon fiber can be applied for high power and it's really benefiting. Yeah, some people think that's not possible because all they see when they look around all these thousands of aircraft here at Air Venture, it's almost always metal prop yes. on the bigger engines, but this does work fine exactly. on, the, on the higher power. We have a huge feedback uh, about our process and technology and it's totally fit uh, for high power. Yeah. Excellent. Michael, you also have an in-flight adjustable propeller. We can't use that in the light sports space in America. You can use that in some other countries where it's allowed. But if it's a kit plane in the United States or other countries, you could use this prop. Show us a little bit about how this works. This, by the way, is not the whole prop. Yes, this is exactly, just an example. Just a mock -up, yes, exactly, okay. yeah. The idea is that this prop was designed for a Rotax engine, the 100 horsepower and also the, the 115 uh, horsepower, the 912 and 914. Okay. And uh, the main point is that everything is in carbon. We are the only, only one in the world to manufacture uh, in-flight propeller with carbon hub, you know. And then, is that right? Yes, that, that is very uncommon. It's almost always a metal hub. Then. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And thanks to that, we have uh, just 12.5 pounds for two blade props with the wall that system. Right? That's yes. very light, yes. yes. Exactly. And for our tank, the, the idea is that there is a common inside the propeller shaft, you know, and we have a small ah, activator yeah, yeah. Okay, right to the back. The center, then. You, we can see some pictures here. Okay. And, uh, there is a small activator to the back on the gearbox, and it's controlled, uh, it moves inside the prop to, to rotate the blade like that. Ah, I see. see. Okay, you can see this part moving here as well. The so. blade is moving, this part is fixed, and here exactly the, the, the small So it's stop. a gear system okay. inside. Exactly. Oh, okay. exactly. uh -huh. There is a ring inside. If you have any problem, it's come back to a small pitch. I see. Okay. Exactly. So if something goes badly, you still have a climb yeah. problem. Exactly. Yeah. And we have four kind of command. You can have a wheel control or a lever like that. Okay. Or just electric system with constant feedback. Okay. So then, now you when, you when you do these kinds of things, Michael, you have to work closely with the airframe producer then exactly, to yeah. have the right control mechanism. So that, yeah, exactly. And of yeah. course, you've already worked with Rotax since you served the Rotax. Exactly. Market, yeah. So. yeah. 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 We we work almost on uh, seventy percent of our market is Rotax engine. Yes, of course. So. But we also work uh, with other propeller for direct click engine like uh, Japiru, U well power. Ah, okay. Like coming on Continental, as I told you. Yeah. Okay, so you are very well rounded with all of the engines that we know of popularly. Very good. A lot of information, but people are often seeking more than we can do on these short videos, Michael. Yes. Uh, tell us the web address. We'll put it on screen for people, but just tell us the web address where they can get more information. Yes. You can come to the website of the, the company. It's www.duke-elice.com. Okay, and is this available in English as well yes, as French? Yes, of course, yeah. Okay. It's the same address, but after just click on the flag, uh, English flag, and everything is in English. Yes. You can see the, the price and uh, all the technical uh, specification of our products. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, well, wonderful. A pleasure to speak with you today. Uh, we can get more information about uh, all kinds of props, all kinds of airplanes, and lots of videos, all available on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Michael de Darion. Yes. Pretty close again, yes. and myself here at AirVenture. Yes. Thank you for speaking Thanks to us, Michael. Yeah. Thanks. All right.